asking about the chosav. What should be your intent when you put on your tefillin? Should tzivon hakadosh baruch hu l'niach arba parshus edel. That's the regular mit. Meaning, you should think more specifically. It's not only think. I'm mechavein. I have a mind to fulfill the mitzvah of tefillin that Hashem commanded me. That you have a mind that you're putting arba parshus edel. The four parchments, four parshus on that parchment in the tefillin. What's contained in those parchments? Yichud Shem, the unity Hashem, and Yitzis Mitzrayim. Al Azroa Kenegar Alev, on the arm which corresponds to the heart. Al Arosh Kenegar Hamoach. Why? Kedesh Niskor Nisim Niflos. To remember the miracles, the one Shasi Manu. Why? Why is it important to remember the miracles? Shehei morim al yichudo v'ashelo akoach v'emsholo ba'erdiyonu b'tachton l'asus v'enkritzono. Because what did the nisim gluim indicate in Mitzrayim? That Hashem is what? Is the sole master of existence. That He has total b'emsholo. He has total rulership on the heavens and the earth. V'yishabit la'kodesh baruch hu ha'nishomo shibamoach. And therefore we're dedicating we're submitting our Nisham to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, where was the Nisham located in the Moach, the brain, and our hearts with all the main desires and drives and thought emanate from the heart. You know, the person's the heart tells me. Nisham from the brain, not the heart? It's above the head. It's attached to the brain, but it's attached. It's attached to the brain. And when, if you have this in mind, you remember your Creator, and you'll minimize your desires. V'yoniach shaliyat chilo, you first put on the shaliyat, v'yivorech lo niach tefillin. V'akach yoniach shorosh, then you put on the shorosh, v'lo yivorech, kim brocha achas l'shteim. Say one brocha covering the shaliyat and shorosh. It's the mechabe. Could you go back to one? I didn't get everything I could get out of it. Please. What? Yizkor. Bezei Yizkor. Okay. Which means you should dedicate your mind and your heart to Hashem. Right? And as a result of that, you will remember your Creator, the Yamit Hanosov. Right? And you'll minimize your desires, your pleasures. Okay? Then he says, you should put on Shalyad first, then the Shorosh and one Brocha. Hagov, Yeshome, Vorach al Shorosh, Al Mitzvah Tfilin. Others say, no. You say, Al Mitzvah Tfilin and Shorosh, I feel low heaps of time. Even if one did not speak between the Shayyad Shalrosh, Chaim Poshen Amidik Bnei Ashkenaz, and that's the prevalent minog among Bnei Ashkenaz. Shem Vorchen Shte Brochos Vetov Lo Mat Tomid Acha Brocha Shnio. It's best to say after the second Brocha, Brocha Shem Fol Malchusol Ved, which is that's how we conduct ourselves. So Rabbi Yichud and it's Yes Mitzrayim. Yichud is the unity of God. What does that mean? Nothing is just outside of God. Shem Zeh. Everything is. Created by no, God. it's more, much more than created. Much more than created. We're, we're all a piece of God. We're all. The There's nothing in existence which is not an expression of God's willing. Nothing. The sun, the moon, the person, the grain, the bird. The, the, there's nothing in, in in existence that exists only because Hashem wills that to exist. How does Yitzchak describe? Wait, wait. Yitzchak sometimes revealed that. The Nisim Gluyim, the revealed miracles, revealed that is the reality of who God is. That He has absolute Nemshola. He has absolute rulership, the, uh, dominion over everything. Our thoughts, He knows where our thoughts are. Could you imagine? Choshech. One person sees the other person, doesn't see. How is it possible? Right? It's not, they, they became blind. They didn't become blind. But yet, the exact same situation, one person sees the other person doesn't say, how is that possible? It's not explainable, right? If he's the Kol Yochol, he wills that this, it's, it's not a problem. One's reality is not the same as the other reality, by the Akedah. When they saw the cloud, kosher ala, ala ba'onon, he, they saw the cloud over the mountain. Yitzchok and Avram saw it, Yishmuel and Elias didn't see it. How could two people see it, the other people don't see it? was the question of their, their vision, their acute vision, right? The answer is, same thing. The Jew sees during Choshech, and the, and the Mitzri doesn't see during Choshech. How do you explain it? That's what Hashem willed. Okay, let's see the, let's see the Mechaber. Mishmuri Chavim, Ba'anachosom. 
it's interesting. The Mogravram says we had it by Hilcha Sukkah, that when you sit in the Sukkah, that in addition to the having in mind you sit in the Sukkah for the sake of the mitzvah of Sukkah, you should also have in mind Laman Yedu Dorasechem that the Sukkah is the equivalent to Ani Yakovut. In addition, you should have that in mind. Because it says Laman Yedu Dorasechem Besukkah Zoshavti Yisbedei Yisrael. Doesn't it just sit in the Sukkah? It says Laman Yedu. So you see, you should have, if, if you don't have it, you don't say, but that is, you should have that additional kavon, and that enhances the mitzvah. So now he's saying over here, where do we see that the Torah wants that you should have in mind, beyond that you're putting it on to do the mitzvah, that you're doing it to dedicate your heart and your mind to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Where does this come from? So it's really, What's the basis for this? That you have the additional kavon when you put on your tefillin, so the Torah Hashem should be in your mouth. So we see, tefillin is for what purpose? To know that God took you out with a, with a strong arm. This indicates, Yorek, that you have this in mind when you fulfill the mitzvah of putting on tefillin, cause primagorim, to be called mokum with the eved, I feel no kivain, rak l'she mitzvah b'levad yotzeh. If you only had a mind of putting on for the sake of tefillin, without this additional yotzeh. And the, mokum, and the primagorim says the exact same thing by sukkah. Although you're supposed to have kavona on the akavo, but even if you didn't, the yotzeh with the eved. Because having in mind that you're doing the mitzvah for the sake of the mitzvah, that's sufficient. Doniach arba parshios, if people have a custom that after they put on tefillin and sprint it in the sitter, they read the four parshios. First puts on tefillin Rabbeinu Tam Yomer Kol Arba Parshios. It's a proper minog. Actually, you know, like Yeshiva Bochram or Kola people, or pe- they usually don't. You know, they don't say Korbonos. You know, in Yeshiva, you don't say Korbonos. So it's the same thing. Whatever it is, they don't say Korbonos. I mean, if they say it's only Parsha Satomit, Parsha Satomit, Machaber says all the additional Korbonos they don't say. Because the question it takes too much time, and it's a question of Bittal Torah, so therefore you want to get going. It takes like it takes five minutes less, and what, what kind of kavona people have when they say the korbanos? So therefore, of that they don't do. Okay, tchila, tchsiv kshartom, v'odav hoyil totofos, v'vorech rotzelom ekorim she hayiduk. Now, when do you say the bracha? Whenever you say bracha, you say over lasiyoso, right? I know Howard when he eats the matzah, he can't control himself, so he, he says he, so, but, but still he does. So before he puts the matzah on, he says Hashem kitshan b'tzivana al chilas matzah. So when do you, what's the what's what's the overlasiyosim by tefillin? Before you the moment before you tighten it, the tightening is the is ukshartum. Okay, this is kodem ahiduk. Tefillin halamid bedogish. Tefillin. It's like you emphasize the. It's not tefillin. People say tefillin. 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 No, niach tefillin. He emphasized the lamed with with the chirik. Al mitzvahs bepatach, tachas avov mitzvahs shuloshin yochid v'lo becholim. Not with an O sound. Shuloshin rabim. It's not al mitzvos tefillin. Mitzvahs. Sherei lo nisker brocha zu kiim letefillin sharosh bevad. Right? It's it's one. It's addressing the tefillin sharosh, not tefillin shayad. Look at us. And the Ramok concludes it's best to say after you say a mitzvah. It's not a sofik. If it's a sofik, you wouldn't say the brocha. How could you say a brocha which may be brocha vatolo? That's the case whenever you have a Soviet brocha, say the brocha. And you'll say afterwards, so of course you're not permitted. 
So he says, in essence, it's not a sofik. We hold you're supposed to say because we follow Rav Tam's position. They call pikbuk because the mechaber says differently. Others say differently that we, there shouldn't be a question that maybe we did the wrong thing. We say Baruch Shem Nogan Loma Baruch Shem Kol Moslem Ved Yizor Moch Lo Yoma Baruch Shem Rak Achas Shehadik Hashem Rosh Kiroi. Now, what's the kshira on the rosh? It's when you tighten it. You put mm-hmm. it in place and you tighten the place. That's the kshira. We don't make the knot behind the the head, right? Let's say you say Baruch Shem before you tighten it. You just put it. You say Baruch Shem Kol Moslem Ved. That means you spoke before you did the mitzvah, right? You say lisatef, and before you wrap yourself, you speak. What's that law? You have to say the bracha over again. It's a bracha levatol. You mafsik. You interrupt it between the bracha and the mitzvah. So if you you say baruch shem kol maslom ved before you actually tighten it, it's the equivalent you spoke before you did the mitzvah of shorosh. That's what he says. So you have to be careful. Dim loke you have to be bracha lahanocha. You bracha zul levatola. The vaday would have the questions. The bracha levatola. The tzorich laachzul levorich. But olam nicholam b'zei. You ever see people they're in a rush putting on the tefillin? They're not in place. They're not tight. They're already saying baruch shem kol maslom ved. Right with the yamaka, you know everything's a rush. So not really being focused, they end up saying baruch shem kol maslom ved before they actually do the mitzvah of the shel rosh. When they do the mitzvah of the shel rosh, before they sort of tightly say the bracha. Right? Yes, and then you and tighten then it, put every, and then you say it. Because huh. yeah, they have the question. What does that accomplish? Though? What is what to? What is baruch shem kol maslom ved? Because since we all make ready, you're supposed to say bracha. Yeah. Because we follow Rabbi Natan. But since there are many other Rishon who argue, yeah. so according to them, you weren't supposed to say the bracha. It's a bracha of Atola. So how does that change that? No, when you say bracha, whenever you yeah. say a bracha mistakenly, what do you say afterward? Baruch Shem Kol Maslom What does that do? That, that's a separate halacha, un- unrelated to this. He asked you a new question. A person uh, said Baruch Pri Adama, and he didn't realize, and he said Baruch Pri Adama again on the vegetable. Well, what are you supposed to say after you say it the second time? Mm-hmm. You supposed to say Baruch Shem Kol Maslom Ved. That, that's that's the halacha. If you say a bracha of lavato, bracha shein etzricha, unnecessary bracha, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. So over here is a question. It's not we do we will look every time. It's not a question, but others hold you're not supposed to say that second bracha. So how do we go and write the wrong according to them by saying bracha shein kol maslum ved? So therefore, Rambo says tov. It's a good thing to do. It's like this: you extricate yourself from any question. But he said, but if we a bona fide sofik. You're not permitted to say a bracha about a question. So maybe a bracha about tola relying on baruch shem kol maslom ved. You're not permitted to do it. So you say if you say baruch shem kol maslom ved, as you already said before, when you s- and then you realize, then you, realize you, say you have to say immediately baruch shem kol maslom ved. You eat first. You eat the you vegetable ate, first. You no, you ate the vegetable before ready. But you made a mistake. Oh, I see. You ate the one before. You ate it before. Oh, you're gonna eat another one. And so you you don't you, you don't realize you right, said the bracha already. Right, right, right. It happens, right? right. Right, right. Say Baruch Hashem whatever it is you didn't realize you had Mizonis earlier in the meal, uh-huh. so you have to say Baruch Hashem for Moshe and Ved. That's something else. That's very different. That's more psachit. Better find the source. No, I'm saying I don't know the exact reason for this. Okay. okay. Definitely, you say the bracha. You either go say it has to be over lasi also. If it's not in place, it's still prior to the mitzvah. Exactly. That's why it has to be a moment before you do the mitzvah. So you get as close as you can to do the mitzvah. That's the Mishra Baruch. Let's see if he tells you didn't unfold the jet. You say, Lissat, it's too early. You have to have over immediately before you do the mitzvah. That's called over the over. It's before the before. Same idea. What if it's too early? It's valid. It's valid. When you put on still, when you do when you type here, is that when you say the bracha? Right, you hold it just in place right before you pull it down. Right, you say I the bracha. Before you start strapping. It's also, no, no. 
before, right. before, right before you give it a, the pull down, that's when you say the bracha. It's called over the over, not over, oh, oh. over before it's over. It's too, too over. It's too much. Be- over means before. The Gemara discusses how do you know over means before, maybe it means after. It's over before it's over. You don't want to be over and under. Okay. 